Hi everyone, Eve here, and today I'm going to show you these Christmas light nails. I'm starting off with the Butter Bonder Base Coat by Orly. This is really the only base coat that I've used. I like it because it smooths out my nails and it seems to help my manicures last a little bit longer. As you can see, I totally knocked it over, and so I just picked up the product right off the nail mat and it was just fine, so that way it didn't go to waste. For this design, I only did one coat of the base coat. Sometimes I do two, especially if I have a lot of damage to my nails. For the base color of this design, I selected Silver Storm by Sally Hansen. And I think that this is just a really pretty kind of metallic-y silver that builds up pretty quickly. A little fun fact for you, this color used to be called Celeb City. I'm not sure when they changed the name, but now it's Silver Storm. I also did this with the base coat, but I do go in and I cap the edges, which is where you paint along the edge of your nail. This technique helps me to keep my manicures lasting a little bit longer. Instead of starting to chip within the first couple days, I usually get about a week until they start to chip. I did go in with a second coat and I feel like this color is opaque within those two coats unless I do very very thin coats. Sometimes I will need to get a third coat in order to find the opacity that I'm looking for. I'm not sure how my hand ended up out of frame but as you can see I'm just doing a second coat. Next I'm going in with Good To Go which is a top coat by Essie. Normally I would wait to do the top coat until after I've done the design, but it was getting pretty late and I wanted to go to bed, so I decided that I was just going to top coat them, let them dry, go to bed, and then finish this design in the morning. Alright, it is the next morning, so I'm using Off Tropic by Essie, which is kind of a pine green color. I am applying this color using a striping brush and there's not really a rhyme or a reason to the way that I'm laying the color down. I just wanted to make it look like the Christmas lights were kind of draping over my nails and I kind of let the natural curve of my nail decide where the stripe was going to go. Additionally, I did try to leave enough space on either side of the string so that way I would have a place to put the light bulbs and be able to actually see them. In some areas, I did have to go over the color again just to make sure that it was opaque enough to show up on my nail. After I finished a little string on all of the nails, I let this color dry. Now it's time to add in all the little light bulbs, so I'm starting with Endless Blue by Sinful Colors. And it is a very vibrant blue. Next, I'm going in with Really Red by Essie, which is a bright Christmas red. And finally, I have YOLO Yellow, but also by Sinful Colors, and this is a bright, sunshiny yellow. Next, I kind of picked out some spots along the string and began making almost a teardrop or a candle flame shape. I repeated this process until each nail had a little bit of blue on it, and then I continued with each of the other colors, so the yellow as well as the red. I did not do a pattern with each of the colors, but I'm sure that's something that you could do. Like you could do blue, red, yellow, and then repeat that. So blue, red, yellow. I just kind of slapped them on there and tried not to have two colors that were the same next to each other. After all of the little light bulbs were on, I did give it some time in order for all of those colors to dry, but I didn't wait in between each color since they weren't overlapping with one another. To polish things off and instead of having them look like little triangles just hanging out on a string, I decided to make the little attachment piece by going in with the Off Tropic by Essie, which is the green color, and taking a very small dotting tool and making just a slight dot. Sometimes I made it a little bigger if the light was slightly bigger, so I might tap once or twice, but it was super easy. I didn't feel like I needed to make an actual square shape. After all of those colors dried, I went in with the Good To Go Top Coat and sealed in my manicure, finished things off, gave it a nice shine, and let that dry. 
my favorite part of painting my nails is getting to enjoy the design so of course I looked at them for a while I'm still looking at them and I took some pictures and some videos anyway thanks for watching and happy holidays